welcome back in this video i will demonstrate sugarcane leaf disease detection and remedy suggestion a final year project developed using machine learning and deep learning techniques a sugarcane is a major commercial crop impacted by leaf disease like a red root and red rust causing significant yield loss so while we try to solve this problem manually this will be very slow and error prone to overcome this one we in this project we apply ai combining deep learning and machine learning it automatically detect and classify sugarcane leaf disease from images it also gives the remedies with the purchase links via simple web app If you want to download this project, you can download through this link. This link is provided in the description below. Once you download this project, you will get all these contents. Those are data set, documents. In the documents, we have the reports and PPT, and a report will be available in a Word file and PDF. And uh, in this, we have a class cap. This is a trained model. In the README, we have the instruction. to install the necessary softwares and how to run the program and in the requirement we have the all the necessary libraries and this uh, sugarcane leaf disease detection i python is a uh, if you want to train the model you, you can use this one so first we will discuss the methodology of sugarcane leaf disease detection in the methodology first we need to collect the datas here we are collected from local sugarcane farms under real farming conditions in this case we have total 224 labeled images in that 75 are healthy 74 are red root and 75 are red rust next we need to do the data augmentation so data augmentation is nothing but we are enhancing that image through rotation or flipping or zooming or contrast changes after that what we need to do we need to do the pre processing pre processing is nothing but we are resized the images into 224 by 224 so after resizing the images we can give that images input to the densnet 201 so after that we need to uh, extract the features through densnet 201 so after that we need to do the classification so classification is done through uh, support vector machine with rbf kernel so here the classification will be done into healthy red root and red rust here model is trained by combining densnet 201 and svm after training we need to test the model the testing will be done by five fold cross validation so after the testing we achieved training accuracy of 98% and validation accuracy of 94% finally we need to deploy the model by using the flask web app here we need to upload the image after uh, proceeding uh, it will give the disease name and also it will suggest the remedies so this is the methodology of sugarcane leaf disease detection now we will discuss how to run this model to run this model first we need to install anaconda python app so previously i did one video how we can install the anaconda python app so if you want to see that one uh, the link is provided in the description below so after installing the anaconda python app we need to open the anaconda prompt after that we need to navigate to the project folder in this case uh, my project will be saved in the d drive so that first i need to navigate to the d drive by using d colon after navigating to the d drive again we need to go to the project folder through cd and project folder name so that is what you can see here here we are used the d colon to navigate to the d drive after using cd we are navigate to the project folder 
so after that we need to create and activate the virtual environment to create and activate the virtual environment we need to use this command that is conda create minus n that is a virtual environment sdd python is equal to 3.9 here sdd is nothing but the virtual environment name it means python 3.9 is installed in uh, virtual environment that is into the sdd after creating the virtual environment we need to activate that virtual environment through this command so that through this command that is conda activate sdd once we activate the virtual environment next we need to install the necessary dependencies or necessary libraries through this command that is pip install minus r requirements dot txt so that is what you can see here first we need to create the virtual environment we need to activate the virtual environment and we need to install the necessary libraries so after that what we need to do uh, if you want to use the trained model you can directly use the trained model otherwise if you want to train your own model you need to follow these steps this is the optional one so if you want to train your own model what you need to do in the anaconda prompt you need to type jupyter notebook and open uh, sugarcane leaf disease detection ipython notebook and here we need to run all cells that is what you can see here once you enter the jupyter notebook command this will be open in the default browser here we can see all the required documents in this we need to use uh sugarcane leaf disease detection ipython notebook so after opening this one we will get the main program here we imported all the necessary libraries that is importing the libraries after importing the libraries we need to uh, assign the data set that is we are assigning the data set in this data set we have three categories those are healthy red root and red rust for those categories we are initialize the numbers that is 0 1 and 2 here i displayed the number of images of each categories and uh, each category is having nearly 75 data so that a uh, data set is balanced this is how the data set is looks like in this uh, we have some uh, good leaves and some uh, uh, bad leaves depending on that uh, it will give the disease name after that we need to do the image augmentation uh, the image augmentation can be done through uh, rotation and uh, zooming and etc so after that we need to do the training and testing here we can see that test size is 0.2 means here we are using 80% uh, of data for the training and 20% of the data from the testing after that the model is built by using a uh, dense net 201 next we need to train the model for training the model we are giving the batch size as 32 and epoch as 10 so after that we need to run this program after that we will get the classification report it will look something like this this is a validation and a accuracy graph here you can see that as epoch goes on increasing a training accuracy and validation accuracy is increasing so here also you can observe that as the epochs increases training loss and accuracy validation loss is decreasing finally we will test the particular model is working fine or not by giving the image as a input in this case we have given the red root image as a input and that is predicted correctly as a red root once the model is working fine, uh, we will save that uh, model in the current directory. To launch the Flask app, we need to use the following command that is python app.py. So here you can see here python app.py. After executing this command, it will display the uh, URL where your Flask app is running. So to open this one, you can copy this URL and you can uh, uh, paste it into the browser. Otherwise, you can double click on this one. So it will open the Flask app in the browser. 
so once you open the flask app is in the browser we need to choose the file after choosing the file we need to click on the predict button so we need to choose on the file here i have chosen the image from the healthy so after that it will giving the disease detected as healthy so this is a healthy leaf so that no treatment is required again i will take one more image from red rust uh, if i take that image it will give the disease detected as red rust and it it is also giving the uh, suggested remedies and suggested products through these links we can purchase the products the result of the model is 94% of precision recall and f1 score healthy leaves were classified most accurately some overlap between red rot and red rust due to symptom similarity so compared to uh, baseline cnn models that is a cnn model having the 78 to 91 percentage of accuracy our model uh, densenet 201 and uh, svm achieved superior generalization here we did the data augmentation uh, this was a key to performance on a small data sets the flask app enables real time use by farmers the following are the limitations of this model in this model we have used the data set it contains uh, only 225 images and three classes here we used only red rot and red rust as a disease but the, for the sugar cane we have some more diseases like a smut and mosaic virus so this is one of the limitation of this model and uh, the remedies after predicting the disease we are giving the remedies those remedies are provided only in english and the future works what we can do we can expand the data sets with a diverse region more diseases and severity levels in this video i have demonstrated sugarcane leaf disease detection if you want to download this project you can download this project through this link the link is provided in the description below if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching